So now in this video we're going to look at an op amp circuit wired as a comparator. Very simple. This is non-inverting comparator, which means that we set to 2.5 volts with equal value resistors to the inverting input. We'll take a closer look at that coming up. And this is above 2.5 volts because this is a trim pot wired as a voltage divider. When we drop below about halfway, because then at that point there'll be equal resistance on each side, we drop below that. Now there's less resistance on the uh, negative supply. The voltage dropped below 2.5 volts and we have a low output. That's the way that we wired this up. So now we'll look at why closer to here. So here is the uh, pin layout for the op amp on the board there. You have to power it, positive supply, negative supply. There's an op amp on one side and then another op amp on the other side, which we are not using at all. We're only using number one right there. So there's the uh, pin layout, that's pin one up there, down to four, then you jump across to five and work your way up to eight. I put the numbers that we're using there. The uh, inverting input is above the non-inverting input, but they may swap that on schematics. I always pay close attention to that, but this is the inverting input in this circuit. We set uh, two equal value resistors to the input. It doesn't let current in or out, just looks at the voltage, does a really good at, job at that, so we should have 2.5 volts at that uh, input there, the inverting input. Now, when we have the uh, trim pot, which is going to the non-inverting input, at a, uh, we started off with a higher voltage, closer to five volts than at uh, 2.5 volts. That was a higher uh, input than what we set there. So the output was high. It wasn't five volts, so you lose about a volt and a half. It's probably about three and a half volts there. It's a single supply op amp and the red LED lit up. Other op amps have other capabilities. Now when we drop below 2.5 volts, lower the trim pot less than halfway, then we had a low output, which probably did connect the ground really good, uh, zero volts. So we had five volts across blue LED and it lit up.